MuskyDevelopment.com, we are out here at Pearl Street Gym in Long Branch, New Jersey, and I stumbled across something yesterday, and I had to come out here on a Sunday to capture this. This is Nick Scott. He's obviously a wheelchair bodybuilder and uh, known throughout the world, but, you know, I didn't know much about him until, you know, I got to talk to him a little bit today and get to know what he does, and um, I stumbled upon a production here of uh, a documentary that's being filmed that's going to debut at the Arnold. Uh, sports Expo. So, uh, Nick, tell us a little bit about yourself. How you got involved in bodybuilding? Uh, I know you got a pretty interesting career you built here. So, tell us how you got started. Okay, basically, I was in an accident back in August of '98. My left front tire blew out, and I rolled my car five and a half times. And in midair, my own car hit me in the back, and it broke my back and damaged my spine at T12 L1. I got titanium rods in my back like this with bolts like that. Well, I got depressed, and I asked the Lord, why me? Because, you know, it's like, what do you do in that situation? I was 16 at the time, and I felt like I didn't have nothing. One day I looked in the mirror, and I, uh, I looked in the, the dresser next to me, and I found a mirror, and it was the first time I saw myself. My weight went up to 300 pounds, and I was just disgusted, so I swore to myself I would never look like that again. Then going back to the gym in high school, it just killed me that much more. But I realized if I couldn't do anything, the one thing I could be was stronger than everybody, and that's what I focused. And from there, I became a two-time world powerlifting champion and eventually graduating at my Ottawa University for my diploma in business administration. Then I getting into bodybuilding I just googled it. I was like hey it was the fall of 2005 I was like I wonder if they had bodybuilding for people like me <laughs> see them playing basketball skiing they're doing everything why not bodybuilding yes yeah, like I don't want to play basketball that ain't me I like to lift weights so I, I googled and I barely found anything and eventually came up to the wheelchair nationals in March of 2006 I was like awesome it's like I'll just compete let me just teach myself what I need to do first. So I did, so I flew down there and I lost. And I was just pissed, so then I was like, but I realized, I was like, this is amazing. I told the other guys, it's like, hey, this is amazing. We need to let the world know about it. But I was laughed at. So how things came about, I just went home and I Googled how to build a website, taught myself how to build a website, built it, launched it in a few weeks, and I wanted to lead the sport by example. So I just competed guest posts throughout the country. And eventually one thing led to another. Now I've competed guest posts about 48 times since March of 2006. Oh, that's great. And you were at the, you uh, did also some ballroom dancing, I understand, too, in the wheelchair? Yeah, I do a little bit of ballroom dancing. I've never seen a bodybuilder do ballroom dancing, let alone with a wheelchair with spinners and uh, neons on it. <laughs> yeah, and, and how that came about, I was at the Arnold Expo in uh, 2009, and I was working one of the booths, and um, a woman interviewed me because she was with the entertainment company, and that just happened to Aubrey Marshall. <laughs> Yes. Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's my partner. <laughs> but um, she interviewed me, and it was, it was at the end of the day, and I was tired. And, and make a long story short, she didn't really want to interview me, and I didn't really want to be interviewed. But I we just forced them to do the interview. And uh, oh, What's your name, by the way? Uh, I'm Robert Newsy. I, I run uh, 2B Entertainment Productions, and we were the ones that actually were there at the Arnold in 2008 and did the interview with Nick. And... Uh, I don't know, after that it just led to other things and now we're here filming a documentary with him and he's a great guy, how can you not love him, you know? That's great. And, and uh, so tell us where, you, where exactly, how did this come about? You met at, that ex at the expo and decided to do a documentary? Well, we met at the expo and I, I persuaded Nick to come and try dancing. So we've actually known each other for a, um, more than a year, about two years, and um, we, you know, just from dancing together, we've got to know each other, know each other, and um, we just thought that his story was so great, and that's why we decided to do the documentary on him. So that's kind of how the documentary is very new, and uh, it should be done in February, and it, it will actually premiere at the Arnold in 2011. Well, you guys out there is going to be at the Arnold, March 3rd, 4th, 5th. So make sure you stop in. Where, I don't know where it's going to be. One of those millions of rooms they have there to check out this documentary. So uh, tell us, I saw you, you know, I was filming this, coming in and showing the lead in. You were filming this from his perspective, everything from his perspective? Yeah, the concept of the documentary, it's a little different than a normal documentary. Um, we're basically doing a lot of reenactments, and it's coming from Nick's perspective. Um, we want to show people, I mean, we can never really put them in his shoes, but we want to show them from his eyes what he experienced as he went through his challenges and after the accident, how he accomplished things and, and came back to be the person he is today. And he's a motivation to all of us, I think. Yeah. 
That's right, Nick. So I'm looking forward to seeing this. So uh, we're going to take a, a step downstairs a little bit. You see this gym here. It's a beautiful gym. I mean, I've never seen a gym like this in my life. I'll maybe I'll just show you a little bit of a tour of the place. But uh, he's going to show us a little bit of these uh, couple of crazy little exercises he does, maybe with some chains. Maybe he's, I know he's a strong guy, so I appreciate the strong guy. So we'll go down and take a look and see what he's got. So, uh, Nick, for MuscleFilm.com, I want to thank you. And uh, we'll see what you got down there, all right? And best of luck with everything. I'm definitely going to be seeing this documentary. So everybody out there, check out, I don't know, what's it going to be titled? Um, it's going to be titled, uh, the working title right now is uh, Perspective, um, the Nick Scott story, but um, anything could change, but that's what we're going with as of now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, I saw this on MD. I saw these big guys doing dips <laughs> with this weight. Well, I'm just going to warm up with one chain. <laughs> well, those are a little heavier than the ones I've seen people using, too. <laughs> It's a little bit. Ah. 13, 14, 15. I can look like I'm struggling. Ah! Ah! One chain. This one's a little bit longer. There you go. Are you supposed to say yeah, motherfucker, or something like yeah, that? Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look more intense when I do that? Oh, yeah. I can make this look struggling. <laughs> Not really. You ready for you? <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> so you have a gym like this by you, or you just uh, you ever seen anything like this place? No, there's no there's no gym like that I've been in compared to a gym like this. It's just a it's a hardcore feel to it, and I don't know, even just that little rack. It looks like a torsion device from. Hannibal Lecter. That's right. <laughs> See, you know? I mean, really, it's like this is this is one un unbelievable gym. And when we started like doing the documentary here, I mean, it's it's like Rocky style. I mean, you can't beat a gym like this. I, I don't know. It's just like one of those dream gyms that you wish that you know that you had close by you that you can just train all the time because it's really about the atmosphere that draws you to push you to that next level. Because when you don't think you have it in you, it's all mental. But when you're in the atmosphere, you can push harder. You can focus, concentrate. You got to really visualize. You can achieve it. Because a lot of people just don't believe in themselves, and that's the that's a secret. You got to believe mentally, and then you can push beyond physically. This that's the secret, baby. <laughs> Good. I can show everybody how to do this. 